get ready for me love cause I'm a comer I simply gotta march my heart's a drummer Don't bring around club to rain on my parade Okay everyone, so back in 2001 I started this concert series with the Actors Fund and Tim Pinckney and Catherine Cook Joe Benicasa, basically putting these big concerts on Broadway. We began with Dreamgirls, and we did probably six of them. And Actors Fund is now letting me use the videos to deconstruct. So this is the third concert that we did. It was Funny Girl, and I had, I'd always like dreamed of doing Funny Girl with women that wouldn't normally be cast in the part, but that would be like amazing in the part. So we had like, you know, Jane Krakowski and LaShawn and Christian Chenoweth. And this is just one of the most brilliant performances that's ever been on Broadway. Unfortunately, it was only on Broadway for a night. Lilius White, Tony Award winner. Not someone you'd necessarily cast as Fanny Bryce, but this performance is crazy. And a couple of things I wanna say before we begin. A, uh, she was supposed to sing a different song in the show. I can't remember, I, I think it was People, but then we didn't have anyone to sing during my parade. So we wound up getting Julia Murney for People, who was amazing. And I think Deb Janke was choreographing it, was like, what about Lilius White for Don't in My Parade? And I was like, really? I was like, I don't know, I was like, it's an up-tempo number. I'm like, she's not gonna be able to show her show off her amazing voice. And then I ran into her walking my dogs by the Ansonia, and I was like, they want you to sing Don't Rain in My Parade. And she's like, it's literally my audition song. I was like, it is? She's like, yeah, I love singing it. I was like, all right. It's such an amazing performance. Like I never, here's the thing, like it's such a signature Barbara Streisand song that you're like, anyone else is gonna sound like a clunk on it. She so makes it her own, but not an annoying, you know, some people make it their own. I'm like, I get it, you're slowing it down, making it a folk song and sounding horrible. No, she makes it her own in the most brilliant way. Okay, so let me start from the beginning. Okay, the first thing you have to know is this, it's a vamp. And the cue is she goes, don't tell me don't. And then it's kind of up to me to go, and by the way, normally you're vamping, you're in front of the singer, you go, bump, don't tell. But in these concerts, we're in back of the singer. And it was like kind of before we had video monitors, so it's very stressful, like I couldn't cue her. So she went, don't tell me don't. And I was like, I'm gonna go right into it. She's gonna love it. So it was like, don't tell me don't. And I thought she starts singing and she didn't. So I gave the downbeat for the orchestra. So they start going, but she goes like this. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's up. Like all the chords were wrong. So I want you to just hear that. It's really subtle, but the band, half the band goes right, half the band goes wrong. And it's really my fault for bringing the cue too early, but still, it's a clunk fest. Okay, here we go. Take my advice. Don't. Don't tell me don't. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to on my parade. Okay, so she totally got me back the next year when we did Hair. I'll just show you a quick clip of that. Because I don't know why, but the, the introduction to Aquarius was crazily extended. I think all these things were happening on stage. And at the, it was literally like, I don't know, like, 30 bars of introduction for Aquarius. And all these things were gonna happen, and then finally Lilius was gonna come out. Well, she kind of came out a little bit early, but it didn't matter, because I told her in rehearsal, I will cue you when you're supposed to go, because I could actually see her. So I said, I'm gonna cue you, and you just see her. She just plants it sassily and begins singing. Okay, so just, first let's just listen, and then I, I'll show you something else. So let's just listen to what happens. This little great trumpets, Jesse Vargas. Out, the audience was applauding and they kind of recognized her behind the screen. She so goes up, she's sort of placing herself, sassy. She's like, I'm gonna begin, I'm not gonna look at Seth. Okay, so she's not begun there. But what I want you to see is literally my crazy panicking, turning like, because it was like three pages early, turning a thousand pages, and I just start playing the piano because I'm trying to cover for the orchestra. So I just want you to watch it one more time because I'm obsessed with that. Okay, so here we go. She comes up on stage, plants it. Just watch my ter terrified turning of the pages. She goes. And the the turning, turning the and playing. House, and okay. Let's just keep going. So second verse, this is where Lilia starts making her own. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. She adds this little riff and then Instead of, who told you you're allowed? She does a little bit. Now, here's the thing. I don't want American Idol riffs where I'm just like, what's the melody, dear? It's just enough riffing to make it her own, but still stay within the melody. And that's at the point where the audience is like, 
oh my god, she's so they flipped out and they literally started applauding because they you know that they realize this is gonna be amazing. It's just so crazy to get applause within a song, but she gets it because she changes the melody just enough to make it phenomenal. Here she goes. Tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? Literally applause, because it's so good. Okay, then, what I love is, you know, these concerts, part of the licensing is that you have to hold the script for, I don't know, 70% of the show. It has to do with, like, how much you pay for the licensing. So you have to hold scripts. But by the time we get to songs, you, we don't want to have scripts. You always have to have, like, kind of fun ways to get rid of them. So Peter Flynn was directing it. So you see, like, she she's annoyed at Eddie Ryan, because Eddie Ryan is one who says, don't tell me don't. Don't, you know, who says, you know, take my advice, don't. So she sort of gives him the script, like, I've had it with you. So it's a great way to get rid of the script. Then she has a ticket to go on this train and she decides not to go. So she gets rid of the ticket by giving it to her assistant, Adrian Lennox. By the way, Adrian Lennox, Tony Award winner, but totally believes in the Actress Fund and like did this really like not a big role in Funny Girl. Speaking of the Actress Fund, it's not just for actors, just so you know. It's for anybody in the business. Singers, dancers, ushers, filmmakers, crew, I ought to say anybody can get help from the Actress Fund. So it's a misnomer calling it the Actress Fund. Anyway, she gives the book to John Shearer playing Eddie Ryan and then she gives a ticket to Adrian Lennox, but it's so much more pointed because she literally takes her hand, puts it in the hand. So I'm just obsessed with the blocking for that moment. Is there anything else I want to say? Oh, yeah, and then um, uh, she does this little tiny riff I want you to hear. When we get to it, I'll stop it. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I know how to rewind on this newfangled thing. That's rewinding. Excellent. Okay, here we go. And play. Your turn at, it's this tiny, tiny little, you know, she's really a jazz singer in a lot of ways, Lilius. It's this tiniest little jazz riff that I love on the word here, at. Play. And if I'm found out, right your turn at that, sir. At least I didn't fake it, that, sir. I guess I didn't make it. It's so but subtle, but it's so within the song that it doesn't stick out, but it's delicious on the word I. That, sir. At least I didn't fake Okay, but whether I'm the, the rose, okay, the the rose is your reflection. Okay, this is shiny apple of a side. Um, what is so fun about doing these videos is that I can also comment on the amazing staging. So I want you to first see the sassy, sass brass head, then the ooh, love is juicy, crazy full body, um, Phil Black jazz class from the 80s, then when she's like, gimme, give gimme give love. So just those three moves, sassy head, Phil Black or um, Luigi, anybody Luigi? And then hands. Okay, here we go. Of sheer perfection, or freckle on the nose of life's complexion. The cinder or the shiny apple of his eye. I gotta try once, I got to fly once. Only can I once try, sir. Who love is juicy, juicy, and you see, I got to have my fight. Right, ah, so good. Okay, get ready for me. Next time she get ready for my Okay, then she adds the most, this is the first time she's like, I'm going all out riff wise at the end of this phrase. Here we go, listen. Love cause I'm a comer. I simply gotta march my heart's a drummer. Don't bring her out club to rain on my parade. Okay, so I want you to see it again because, you know, we have to, there has to be a reason to get, it becomes a solo song. So you can't have those two annoying people standing on the side like judging her, her assistant, Eddie Ryan. So they have to leave for a reason. So this is when Eddie Ryan decides to leave, played by my friend. John Shearer, but I decided he's also leaving because he's had it with her riffing. Because <laughs> you see him like totally judge her riff. He's like, you know what? No, you have to sing the song exactly as Ink or else I'm leaving. So this spot, I decided that's the subtext why Eddie Ryan leaves because he's had it with the riffing, even though the riffing is amazing. Here we go. I'm a comer. I simply gotta march my heart's a drummer. Ready? Don't bring her out club to rain on my parade. Out. I'm okay. Live. Then right here, I want you to hear. Yet again, the tiniest subtle changes to the melody, which by the way, is what Barbara Streisand is. So you can't go like, how dare she? Barbara Streisand is constantly changing melodies. As a matter of fact, I was interviewing the great Marvin Hamlish, and Barbara was, you know, changed the melody to Sadie Sadie, which is amazing. And Marvin, either he wrote the vocal arrangements, all I know is that he was, I know he was the rehearsal pianist for Funny Girl, but I think he wrote the vocal arrangements. So he came back to her dressing room, and he was like, Barbara, 
he said the melody, how you're changing the melody is actually clashing with the vocal arrangements. And she was basically like, she's like, are they coming here to hear the vocal arrangements or to hear me? And he was like, enough said. So the point is, I wasn't being obnoxious, but she really would come up and Julie Simon said that. He's like, she changes the melody, but she actually makes it better. So my point is, Lilius is not like rude to change the melody because it's in the style of Barbara Streisand. Barbara always made little adjustments. And like I said, it's not American Idol style where you're like, I don't know what you're singing. Okay, here, it's so subtle and it's so within the style. Now, by the way, that, that bam, I decided, is in the style of Norm Lewis and Julia Murney. What do I mean? Because you're warming up for your final notes. So if you ever saw Porgy and Bess, Norm, you know that, uh, I got plenty of nothing. We go, no use complaining. He'd always go, no use complaining. It was this crazy high placement, and I totally busted him on that. I was like, you're warming up for your last note in the song. He's like, mm-hmm. So no use complaining. So it's A, Norma Lewis, B, Julia Murney. Whenever Julia Murney's had a benefit, watch her, because she'll be in the audience cheering, but it's not cheering. She's literally warming up. She'll go, woo, woo. Okay, so that's what her bam is. It's literally warming up for the last note. That. That's just like, you know what? I actually have more breath control than you thought I did. I'm literally gonna hold it longer. It's so exciting. And the, the focus of the voice is so delicious. Here, listen. Ben riffs. Audience is loving it. But they're annoying. I sorry, I appreciate that you're applauding, but the problem is you can't applaud right before a D because their applause actually overlaps for Amazing D. Now, luckily, the way this is filmed, you can hear it, but I remember the night of the concert, I was like, shut up, because I was conducting. So just spot, I love that they're applauding, but you're not allowed to applaud before a D. You have to know what the riffs are in advance and really time your applause to let the riffs land. Here we go. Now they're applauding. You're allowed to keep going. And now stop, do this. Oh, watch the staging of this, the fan. Address the fan. Now, spot this amazing riff. I actually would stop the orchestra for this, and probably I should have just kept it going because we actually almost won it missing half a beat. But I knew that she riffed this so sassily that I didn't want to bring the orchestra in. So just spot the riff that's coming up, which I love. Okay. So good. It's so sassy. For someone that didn't make it, you've got a lot of aggression about it. Okay, just spot it one more time. It's so good. It's such a good riff. Okay, play. Yet again, change the melody. Uh, I said, we're going to march my heart to drummer. You'll hear the new melody, and then nobody, no, nobody. And that's the thing, too. She, she riffs on the appropriate words. It's like... It's not, uh, nobody, no, nobody. She's riffing on the, by the way, <laughs> riffing, riff, ignore that. Ben Platt, please don't listen. She actually takes the word no, which is so appropriate to riff on. So let's just listen to that for a second. And here we go. Hold on, let's do the house one more time. I'm obsessed with it. I didn't fake it. That's a, I guess I didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a car. I simply gotta march my heart to trauma. Before we hear the amazing last note, which is, I just want to tell you what she does. She does tip of the hat to what she does in Dreamgirls. I just have to find the actual clip. Hold on. Let me get rid of that. This is the end of, this is the first concert I did with her where she was Effie. The whole, basically the whole entire reason, I, actually makes me, of course, tear up. The whole reason I started this series is because I heard Lilius sing at a benefit that I did for the Gay and Lesbian Synagogue. She sang Effie 
with just like a little tiny band. And I was like, I have to do an entire concert with you as Effie on Broadway with a full orchestra. So the whole reason why I did that concert was to actually feature Lilius as Effie. So, because she's brilliant. So this is the end of I Am Changing. And normally it goes, uh, nothing's gonna stop me now. That's the melody. Bum, bum, bum. Well, yet again, this is the song that she totally made her own in the Dream Girls concert, where you know the audience is like, oh my God, I never heard the song sound this way. And she's making her own, making her own, making her own, and then right on the last note, she adds this, it's basically a, not only a mordant, but it's a turn, and that's when the audience is like, wait, that's an amazing way to end it. So it's sort of her signature turn. Listen, this is her in Dream Girls. Here we go. Lily held it for that long. Isn't that amazing? Because I was so happy for her. Still cheering. Sammy! Okay. Anyway, so her signature is ba da 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 and she does it at the end of Don't Rain My Parade. And oh my god, it's so crazy exciting. Okay, here we are on this song. Uh, let me rewind. Okay. I want to just give the build up to it because it's so good. Nobody, no, nobody is gonna rain on my A, you have to hear it again. B, the breath control. Normally, you it is so impossible to hold this note to the end of the phrase because it's so much music. She holds it all the way to the end, and then it's so exciting because you'll see on the video, like right before the current starts coming down, right before the, the whole note ends, you see the audience start standing. Oh my God, it's so exciting. <laughs> it's just how great it is. Her, she sustains it forever, and then she gets a standing ovation. Oh my God, is it thrilling. One more time, here we go, and. Perfect. Just a bigger build up. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, she's so good.